What's up everybody? Welcome back. Back out here on the lake guys doing some fishing. It's been a little bit since I uploaded a video. It's been a while. But I've been just chilling, having a good time, enjoying summertime. Fall is almost here. It's going to be here before you know it guys. We're pretty much in the middle of late summer already. You know, I think fall is like, I think the fall equinox is like 45 days away or something. So it's not very far away, but I appreciate y'all for watching. I just been taking it easy. I'm taking it easy, enjoying summertime. Guys, you gotta get out, go swimming, fall in the water. Do stuff like that. Go camp, stuff like that. I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's jump into it, guys. Let's go fishing, see what we can do. These bass should be moving in the fall already. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it, but they do. They start schooling up and all that stuff. It already getting ready to start happening. It's already happening. So I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's get out here. Let's catch some fish, guys. Let's go fishing today. See what we can do. I'm gonna eat this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now, and then we're going fishing. There's a good one. There's a good one. See how grouped up these spots are right now, guys? They're all getting ready. Going to that fall pattern. Man, it happens early. It happens really early. A lot of these spots I'm going to catch today, you'll see four or five with them if I catch it, if I keep fishing for spots. They're already grouping up. Bait, bit, bait fish pattern is already kicking in. It's cool. They're already getting ready. They know it's coming. I'll leave this barb. There we go. Finally got him out. Not a tank, but a pretty spot nonetheless. I mean, it's a great looking spot. Let's get over here. Great looking spot. Sorry guys, there might be some haze on the camera. Why, yeah. Uh, I've got a little bit of moisture in there trying to come out. It's on the inside of the lens, so it may take a little while for it to get super clear, but nice little spot let's let him go all right guys unscrewed the uh lens housing or whatever and cleaned it sorry guys i didn't know it was like that unfortunately that is the way it goes that's filming but um the bait fish are moving around and the spots are getting ready to go into a winter pattern i mean they are i know that it's august and it seems like it's too early, but it happens early. I mean, it starts happening. I heard Scott Martin saying he's not lying. I gotta fix. I gotta get another one of these. He said bass are always in transition, and they really are. So, as early as now, they're already starting to group up and go into their fall pattern and into winter. They're thinking about winter already. And cold weather coming. Look at the hook on this thing. Look at that spot. You just trashed this hook. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of you too. Still fishing. Spots are limited in certain areas. Pick it up and sling it around. Go swing around. There he is. Big it too. Good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, no. 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 That was a great, great one, bro. That was a good, that was a good spot, bro. Oh, my God. <sighs> How did that happen? I didn't set that hook good. I was kind of shocked by it a little bit. I didn't think, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like throwing the goat like it don't work or something. You know what I mean? And that was a freaking tank of a spot. That was a great spot, man. Tree down over here. Oop. I hit myself. There he is. It's a good little bass. Best bass of the day for sure. Pretty bass. He come at that and he missed it and he came back and hit it. Nice goat for the for the win. 
missed a goat fast earlier. That's not a sludge mouth. That is a really good orange mouth. Whew, mean largemouth. Pretty, man. Look at the prettiness of that thing. What a beautiful largemouth. Beautiful fish, bro. Beautiful little feisty largemouth. Let's let him go. I like these largemouth on the sand. It's always so dark. The water's uh, a lot clearer down here on this end of the lake. God, so don't fish this lake. Watch my channel. And it makes the, the bass darker. The darker the water, the lighter the bass. Clear the water, the darker the bass. For y'all that don't know. That's what I want. Dang, man, I'm missing fish like left and right. What the hell was that? I see a bass down there. Decent too. Good one. That's a good one. He's better than that other one. Let's call. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Bots on today. Stay out there. Dang, that's a good one. That is a good one. I'll try to keep him in the boat. Let's get him up. Man, that's a good large mouth. Holy cow, he's a lot better than I thought he was. Yeah, that's definitely bigger than the other one. He's a large mouth. Oh, they're mean. Look at that, dude. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Notice I got in here. I didn't just leave. I didn't just hit real quick and leave. I fished around for a minute. I can't hook went all the way through his jaw. I, uh, I can just feel it, man. The bite's good right now. Definitely another bass sitting in here. See, I got hit here. I got hit, hit, hit. Little guys. That bigger largemouth, he was tucked up shallow bait moving around we might be able to catch some good fish today i'm actually going to take a picture with this guy's a good bass let's take a picture with it real quick all right guys man it's a good bass not a bad bass at all fishing around we got that one little one earlier coming here got another good one on the go missed a good spot up there on the go come off and then come back here and caught this big nice large mouth let's put him back in the water let's let him go man that's a good one man because these fish boys and girls i can leave for a little bit and come back and still whip them all right guys all right guys let it go let it go let it grow see you later girl out of the water for a minute she's good though all right all right all right catching bass that's what i like to see trolling motors all over the dang place but we're catching fish that's all that matters to me put her in putting in work goat always putting in work goat is my stable goat don't always work though goat will throw you off i can tell when the goat is good when the goat ain't no good and honestly i don't know when it's like i just can fish it and tell when it's doing good when it ain't today man it could be really good right now we might tear it up oh, there he is. little guy little good little dude little dude trying to mimic the pattern from earlier it's only been about 30 minutes but Went to one other spot, nothing. Then over here, fished over here, nothing. Then come around the corner. Caught this one little dude. Feisty little largemouth. Let him go. Bunch of nothing around here. There he is. Oh, God. He's a shallow. I'm gonna lose him. He's a good bass too. 
<laughs> it's like there's nothing over here. They back in over there. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, here we go. We got one. <laughs> He's decent, too. Don't bad at all. Threw over that tree over there. I mean, that bass is stupid shallow. Beautiful bass. That dude was a good. Look at him. Beautiful fish. I thought, I thought there's nothing in here. I kind of thought there might be something hiding. Hold up. That's me angle y'all doing. I thought there might be something hang, hanging out in that big barrel. So I kept throwing around it trying to get something to come out. This dude's up there in like four inches of water. Beautiful bass. <laughs> I just threw it over it. All right, guys, we just ran up here. I'm hitting this little spot in here. I don't know if it's gonna be spots hit or miss. I've caught fish here, but just depends. Some good ones in here, and I've caught nothing in here, so I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Just jumping around. I seen him move when I threw in there and I was just waiting I didn't say anything but I seen him like the water move just a little bit like I actually spooked him and I was waiting to get followed and hit I didn't say nothing because I didn't want to say nothing I didn't want to jinx myself or scare him because I knew he'd probably be up on the surface nice little bass but when I skipped it in there I seen the water move and I thought, wonder what it was. I mean, it could have been a snake. It could have been whatever. Something in the water. And I thought it was a bass. And I thought if I just give it a say, don't talk or anything, he might come hit it. There's one. Oh, he feels decent, too. Ah, he's big. He felt so good there for a minute. He's a little, he's a, he's a little dude. Caught him up in here. I kind of figured it'd probably be a spot, yeah. But he'll chase a bait. That's why he feels so good. Decent little spot. It's actually a really healthy spot. God, he's so fat. I figured if I threw up in there, there'd be a spot sitting up in there. He bait. That's a pretty good spot, really. So bait is fat. Let's let him go. Watch him. Oh, mean old spot. He was on that thing quick. I do not want to go that way, mister. Mister, mister, mister. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube, I do believe that's about, oh, oh goodness. I was about to say that's it for the day. Then I caught a bass. I swear, guys. I thought that was that was all she wrote. And we catch one. What's the chances of that? Actually, it's kind of calm in here lately. Look at this dude digging. Not very big. He ain't so bad. That's pretty good, Lord. But very healthy. Pretty healthy dude, actually. I fished hard today, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I fished real hard. Now I made a critical mistake by catching fish on the goat and staying with the goat and just fishing the guy should have switched it up and fished other techniques and i'd have probably caught a lot more bass beautiful fish that's what my lens on that could be the last one too beautiful fish let's move over here so you can see them better 
Beautiful bass. But yeah, guys, last bass. It's so random because I was just going to be like, well, that's it, boys and girls. And it may be it. Probably is. But I should have fished different ways, really. I should have switched it up. Kept fishing the bottom. But I get narrow-sided sometimes. Like, I caught those largemouth on this goat. And I kind of felt like I had a pattern. I was like, I just keep hitting these little pockets, running around, go all over the lake. And I did for the most part, and there's just a lot of nothing. A lot of misses and a lot of nothing. All right, guys. Well, that is that. Boy, I grinded today. Grinded hard for fish. Kind of messed up. I should have threw less goat. I was doing good with goat. I was throwing the flutter nymph, caught, missed a couple fish, caught that little spot, then threw the goat, got a nice spot, come off, and then I hit them two big largemouth, and then from there I just kind of fixated on it, and that's how it went for the rest of the day. Did catch more largemouth, but nothing super big, fish busting over there, and it is what it is. I had a pretty good day, but I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll be back real soon to make another video, guys. Guys, get out and go fishing. It's going to be winter for you know it. Fall is coming. It won't be long, but the fishing is good in the fall. Then winter time comes. If you like winter, it's awesome, but I don't. But I appreciate y'all for watching. And as always, I'll see y'all guys again next time. We'll be back real soon and make another video. All right, guys, go fishing. Get out, go fishing.